I love how Photoshop CC has 3D printing integrated because it allows me to take anything that I create in Photoshop, not only make it 3D, but also print it out and make a real world object out of it. I'm gonna focus on 3D printing, but I actually just wanna start with this flat design just to show you that you could take anything that's a flat design in Photoshop and extrude it. But regardless of your design, you don't want to take an object and then print it with it standing up like this because quite frankly 3d printers work from the ground up so i actually want to lay this on the ground so selecting this design probably want to rotate it 90 degrees so again it's flat and then click this move to ground button so it's laying flat all right now how do we do 3d printing well let me just actually switch to this case that i've been working on and you can see if i just view show the ground plane you can see that actually is on the ground plane in fact not only that I am showing the dimensions on the canvas so I know what size it's gonna print out at and keep in mind that it actually is going to get printed out with the design facing down and that's exactly what I want alright when it comes to 3d printing if I have scene selected right over here this button 3d print settings clicking that you can see it right here uh, disregard the color doesn't matter it's just dependent upon your 3d printer whatever color you have loaded in there in fact if you have a 3d printer connected you can select it there it will give you the actual print size so this is the actual print bed size if you will that's your space that you can print in right and not only that it's going to provide the surface detail and include all the various support structures and all that stuff to make it a successful print well at this point let's go ahead and click start print it will go through and unify that scene it'll take multiple meshes and combine them into one mesh making it one solid object it'll thicken the walls repair meshes it does all of that work so i don't have to all right, here is my object, and a couple things have happened. In fact, it looks a little unique. You can see the original mesh, which is the green, and notice I can click on Ray Trace Preview to get a more accurate preview of uh, this particular object. But I'm also noticing this orange right down here, and what is that? Well, that's the raft. I'll actually turn that off, and you can see I can print the raft, which that will just print out one layer so this design will get positioned and printed out exactly right but there's some other things going on here as well as I rotate this around notice how I can manipulate it and zoom in say for instance look what I have here that's the scaffolding okay so I can turn that on and off and what that is is 3d printers can't just print in midair if you will so printing out uh, this bar it has to build up the scaffolding and then it can print that particular part so this is great that this is actually integrated uh, Photoshop adds it for me so I don't have to put it in there and now that's gonna lead to a successful print for me also notice the walls are thickened in certain spots and that's what that blue is again leading to a successful print I can click print or export to export out the STL if I want to print it out later but what if you don't have a 3d printer I'm gonna click cancel and check this out I can take this iPhone case and send it to Shapeways or Sculptio two companies that will do the fulfillment for me this is great I can select Sculptio they're based in Europe and I can go into the printer details right in here and see all the different materials so I can print out in ceramic in multicolor this is key and Photoshop allows for printing in multicolor which is great different plastics different resins clear down to wax so silver metals awesome in fact I'm gonna change this to shapeways based in Brooklyn and you can see the ceramics 14 karat gold silver steel you name it even full color sandstone so I can create something uh, with color and print it out as well and keep in mind it changes the visual representation so uh, for gold plated well this might be a little large for that printer but if I change this to the coral red strong and flexible plastic that's what I want and you can see it will easily fit okay and it will add all those details and anything I've refined if I had a bump map in here to give it some texture it will get printed out accordingly but again the great thing is I can come right down here and click start print it will go through the same process of unifying the scene making it one solid mesh repairing it where it needs to be repaired 
And here you get the representation again as well. And right over here, a little summary of how much it will cost, around $20 for this plastic case. That's all based on the amount and type of material you use, but you can easily see that it thickened all of these walls, so it will be a successful print. All I need to do is click Export. It will export out that STL file. That's a 3D file for 3D printers. And then it asks me to complete the ordering process by going to the Shapeways site. It takes me right to the Shapeways site where I click Upload and I locate that particular file. I'll just select Upload and the object's now on Shapeways site where I can select the material I want it printed in. So I encourage you to peruse Shapeways site for all the different materials as well as Sculptio's. And what I've selected is the red, strong, and flexible plastic. You can see it here. Created and printed in Photoshop, fulfilled by Shapeways. So go ahead and try it out for yourself today.